Hello, this is Clemens from Autotonic and in this video I want to present you the Autotonic player which is a completely free uh, version um, that uh, uses a fixed layout here uh, and that cannot be changed but uh, allows you to completely experience the amazing uh, um, the amazing exp uh, the amazing uh, power of modal transposing so by um, uh, having scales that uh, consist of only um, a few notes for example per octave so um, when you download Autotonic Player, first thing you would have to do is, of course, to set up your MIDI routing here. So in the input section, uh, you should choose your uh, MIDI keyboard that you're going to use. So you can see already I receive here a signal, because if I unselect it, then even if I'm going to press on my key hardware keyboard keys, then there won't be a signal. So you must... Uh, make sure you have selected your MIDI keyboard in the input section, your MIDI keyboard's MIDI part, this is important because you can use uh, alternative uh, MIDI routings of course as well, but, um, or select your MIDI um, uh, interface, audio interface with MIDI port, so this is the one that should show up here and you have to select here. And um, here in the output section, you should uh, target your virtual MIDI port and uh, on Mac you should uh, create an ISC port and on Windows uh, you can use a third party solution that can be found for free on the internet just uh, simply Google uh, virtual MIDI driver and you will find it. Okay, and then you have already uh, set up your MIDI routing here so if uh, power you have signals uh, going on when pressing on the hardware keyboard and when when power is off then also your black keys will work um, as usual but as soon as power is on by clicking here on the power button or using the space bar on my uh, on my hardware uh, PC keyboard and um, the third way how you can toggle power on and off is of course by using uh, the desired black key here, this one that uh, is on your hardware MIDI keyboard. So you can play in power off mode, you can play on the black keys on your hardware MIDI keyboard and as soon as you toggle power on, your black keys won't be uh, so remain sounding anymore but uh, as you can see here in the the upper keyboard is the output section will toggle the certain uh, stored um, uh, scales here that are uh, de defined by default and uh, allow you still a lot of uh, possibilities here because I wanted to show you now for example this diamond scale here I chosen uh, have chosen which is only consisting of four intervals so it's the root note and then three intervals based on this root note here is the second and uh, I think this is uh, one two three four five intervals higher is semi steps higher and then uh, seven semi steps higher so um, this whoa, is already a uh, modal transposing here so it's not a uh, pentatonic anymore and it's not a uh, seven uh, note scaled note based uh, scale but uh, this really is now a uh, four interval scale so as soon as you will um, play on your white keys only of course then uh, autotonic will already uh, transpose for you your white key signals into the certain model scales and uh, there are some uh, exotical scales here as well as uh, the, uh, the um, chromatic scale as you can see there are all 12 semi steps uh, mapped here on the input keyboard and for example the one with the, the smiley with the glasses is the blues scale here 
so only by pressing white keys you can certain uh, play in certain scales like the blues scale or a uh, church or uh, aeolian or a lydian here and uh, one 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 last thing that is important here to mind um, you don't just only um, select or uh, load up these um, here's your Ionian for example it doesn't not change any notes at all here in the output as you can see um, all the output the yellow highlighted keys will be the white keys uh, as well um, but you can uh, combine there are two certain aspects when defining a scale or tonic combination because it's a tonic which root note as you can see here in the lower indicated indicated by the um, by the certain um, root note names um, and uh, it's defined on the other side by the scales uh, with uh, the emojis here so you can for example uh, combine these as well here in this section there are a certain um, tonics without any scale so by selecting first the f sharp and then the aeolian uh, aeolian here like or ionian then we will uh, tar uh, our target um, source material will be f sharp ionian for example but if i'm going to press g and then ionian then it will be g ionian of course as you can see here by the uh, alternate um, note here in the in the major scale okay so for this is very important because you can of course um, while playing um, toggle the uh, black keys simultaneously so you can press two keys at once and this will um, yeah, somehow mix up um, certain harmonic new new harmonic uh, output content here so if I want to play for example in the F F sharp uh, Ionian then I press these two and if I'm going to want to uh, play in uh, D sharp Ionian then I will press these two or G G Ionian then these two so this allows me um, much more uh, combinations by um, by the use of less headers as we call it these ones are headers so this is just some input and the rest um, what you're going to play actually is really up to you so you so you have uh, all freedom composing whatever you desire and uh, how it should sound like I wish you um, a lot of fun with this version. It's completely free and will not expire. The only thing to mind, you have to set up the MIDI routing at every launch. And um, yeah, but the rest, it is not a demo and works uh, unlimited, unlimited. And if you're really having, uh, getting into a writer's block here, you can uh, play on the tic-tac-toe game as well, of course. Um, yeah, and... Um, if you like this version, very important for us, then please, please, please go to the link I provide in the description below and please, please, please vote for the Autotonic player until December 19th of 2016, so this month actually where I'm posting this video. And please vote for Autotonic at the KVR developer um, competition. Uh, which is very important for us uh, since we're a completely self-funded startup uh, doing all this. Uh, this is this would be one way how you really could help us uh, in reverse. Thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you a lot of fun. Bye.